Welcome back to our channel, Light Living. We are thrilled to dive into a crucial topic today, liver cirrhosis. I'm here to provide you with valuable insights and information on this pressing issue. So, let's get started on this informative journey to understand liver cirrhosis better. 1. What is liver cirrhosis? Liver cirrhosis is a profound and irreversible condition characterized by extensive scarring of the liver tissue. This scarring, also known as fibrosis, replaces healthy liver cells over time, impairing the liver's essential functions. The liver, being a vital organ, plays numerous critical roles in the body, including detoxification, metabolism, and the production of essential proteins. The causes of liver cirrhosis are diverse, with chronic liver diseases and fatty liver disease ranking among the most common culprits. Chronic liver diseases like hepatitis B and C, alcohol-related liver disease, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, can all lead to cirrhosis when left untreated. Other contributing factors include prolonged exposure to toxins, certain medications, and genetic conditions that affect the liver. 2. Risk factors. Liver cirrhosis is a condition that can be triggered by various risk factors, some of which are more prevalent than others. Recognizing these risk factors is of paramount importance for both prevention and early intervention. Let's delve into these risk factors in more detail. 1. Alcohol abuse. Excessive and prolonged alcohol consumption is a well-established risk factor for liver cirrhosis. Chronic alcohol abuse can lead to alcoholic liver disease, causing inflammation and scarring of the liver. 2. Hepatitis B and C viral hepatitis infections, particularly hepatitis B and C, are significant contributors to liver cirrhosis. These infections can lead to chronic liver inflammation, gradually progressing to cirrhosis if left untreated. 3. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. NAFLD NAFLD is a condition characterized by the accumulation of fat in the liver unrelated to alcohol consumption. It is strongly associated with obesity, insulin resistance, and metabolic syndrome. 4. Obesity Obesity is a significant risk factor for liver cirrhosis, as it often coexists with NAFLD. Excess body fat can lead to fat buildup in the liver, causing inflammation and scarring. 5. Diabetes People with diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, have an increased risk of developing liver cirrhosis. The connection between diabetes and liver disease is complex, but managing blood sugar levels is essential in reducing this risk. 3. Warning signs and red flags. It's crucial to recognize the warning signs and red flags of liver cirrhosis for timely intervention. Here are some common signs to watch out for. Jaundice. One of the most noticeable signs is jaundice, where the skin and eyes turn yellow due to bilirubin buildup in the blood. In the U. S. liver cirrhosis accounts for approximately 45% of jaundice cases. Fatigue and weakness. Persistent fatigue and weakness are common in cirrhosis. About 70-80% of cirrhosis patients experience fatigue impacting their daily lives. Swelling in the abdomen and legs. Cirrhosis can cause fluid buildup, leading to abdominal swelling, ascites, and leg swelling. Ascites occurs in roughly 50% of cirrhosis patients. Swelling in the abdomen and legs, cirrhosis can cause fluid buildup, leading to abdominal swelling, ascites, and leg swelling. Ascites occurs in roughly 50% of cirrhosis patients. Changes in stool and urine color. Cirrhosis can alter stool color to pale or clay-colored and darken urine color due to bilirubin processing issues. 4. Diagnosis and testing. Diagnosing liver cirrhosis is a crucial step in addressing this condition. Healthcare professionals use several methods for accurate diagnosis. 1. Blood tests. Simple blood tests can reveal markers of liver damage. In the U. S. Approximately 75% of cirrhosis cases are detected through blood tests, helping to assess liver function and identify potential issues. Imaging tests. Advanced imaging techniques, like ultrasound, CT scans, and MRI scans provide detailed images of the liver. These tests are used in about 85% of cirrhosis diagnoses, aiding in the detection of liver enlargement and potential complications. Liver biopsy in some cases, a liver biopsy may be needed to confirm the diagnosis. Around 10-15% of cirrhosis cases are confirmed through biopsy, 
where a tiny sample of liver tissue is examined under a microscope. 5. Prevention and Management Preventing liver cirrhosis is essential for a healthy life. Here are some practical tips. Limit alcohol consumption, about 70-80% of cirrhosis cases in the U. S are linked to excessive alcohol use. By moderating alcohol intake, we can significantly reduce this risk. Maintain a healthy weight. Obesity is a major factor in liver cirrhosis, often related to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. Maintaining a healthy weight through diet and exercise helps prevent this. Manage chronic liver diseases. If you have chronic liver diseases like hepatitis B or C, early treatment can prevent progression to cirrhosis. These conditions are responsible for a substantial number of cirrhosis cases. Get vaccinated. Hepatitis B is a preventable cause of liver cirrhosis. In the U, S vaccination programs have reduced the incidence of hepatitis B A, making vaccination a critical preventive measure. Regular checkups. Early detection is key. Regular checkups can identify liver issues early, potentially preventing further damage. In the U, S, about 30-40% of cirrhosis cases are diagnosed during routine health exams. 6. Treatment options when it comes to treating liver cirrhosis. Several options are available, but their effectiveness depends on the cirrhosis's stage and cause. Medications. Medications can help manage symptoms and complications of cirrhosis, such as diuretics for fluid retention and antiviral drugs for hepatitis-related cirrhosis. Lifestyle changes. Adopting a healthy lifestyle is crucial. It includes maintaining a balanced diet, avoiding alcohol, managing chronic diseases like diabetes, and staying physically active. Liver transplantation. In severe cases, a liver transplant may be necessary. In the U. S. Liver transplants are performed for about 6,000 patients annually, offering a chance for a healthier life. 8. Conclusion and call to action. In conclusion, liver cirrhosis is a serious condition, but awareness, prevention, and early detection can make a significant difference. Remember, if you notice any warning signs or have risk factors, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. Your health matters. If you found this information helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable health-related content. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on our well-being.